Hi, this is Bill from TheMakersGuide.com, and I'm going to show you how to make a backup of your Mach 3 CNC uh, soft driver software. Now, we spent some time uh, in the last tutorials creating customized versions of the Mach 3 software that we use with uh, the Triple Edge Finder uh, from the Maker's Guide. Now, this folder here, Joe's Mill, is what we created. And when I double click that and open up uh, Mach 3, uh, you see we had this special customized screen where we added the touch testing uh, setups for the probing. Now, we don't want to lose all that information, and we sure don't want to enter it again, so we need to make a backup. So to do that, we want to go to my computer, and first off, we're going to start off with a place to store it, and I'm going to put mine on a thumb drive in the F drive. And so I'm going to create a new folder, and we'll call it um, Mach 3 Backup. Okay, and that'll be a place where we can store the folders uh, and files that we need from the Mach 3. So now we navigate back to the C drive where our Mach 3 is installed, and we locate the Mach 3 folder. Inside the Mach 3 folder, there are many file types. And I've got this pre-sorted so that um, the files we're looking for are on the top here, and I did that by pressing the Type button. Okay. So, if you notice, on our desktop, you have Joe's Mill, which is the file that I just showed you, and Warp 512, which are two different configurations that I have set up for my router table that do two different things. So, here is the file that corresponds to the Warp 512, and here's the one that corresponds to the Joe's Mill. And we could just save off those two files if we wanted to, but since I'm doing a backup, I'm going to save all of the XML files that I've created. So I select the first one, and then I hold down the Shift key, and I select the last one. And that highlights them all, and that indicates they're ready to be uh, copied. I right-click, and I hit Copy. Now those are uh, stored under my clipboard. And I go and I navigate back to the thumb drive into the Mach 3 backup folders, right click, hit paste, and I have a copy of all the important XML files that uh, make Mach 3 behave the way we want to. So we're going to keep these in a safe place. But as long as I'm doing that, we might as well go and grab one more file from the Mach 3 folder. So we navigate to the C drive, back into the Mach 3 folder, and we scroll down until we find a file called, let's see, okay, we're going to scroll down until we find a, a file that's called the Mach 1 License.dat. And that's where Mach 3 saves all the information um, for you when you buy a licensed copy of it. This is your license information. If your computer ever fails, you just need to reinstall this file into the new setup, and you'll be back up and running. So we right-click it, copy it, go back to the thumb drive into our Mach 3 backup folder, right-click again, and hit paste. And that's really all there is to it. You want to keep these folder, uh, these files in this folder in a safe place. So you can either keep it on the thumb drive or make a, a DVD backup of it. And that way, if you ever have to reinstall Mach 3, it'll be a lot quicker when you already have the configurations done for you. If you'd like to hear about this or any other um, of the many tips and tricks we show you for Mach 3, you can check out my website at themakersguide.com. Thank you.